Well, you were promised pumpkins, so here we go. Now I'll be handing things off to our very own Stephanie Mills to celebrate that famed orange gourd as she heads to the town of Beaverton and their wild pumpkin. Many people across Michigan have a favorite place to get their pumpkin and donut in the fall. One of those spots is the Wild Pumpkin near Beaverton, where donuts and pumpkins are just a few of the things that bring people back year after year. We've had some customers that have been coming here since day one, and it is so cool to see their families grow up and now they're bringing their kids, and you know, it's that interaction. We are actually an animal petting farm and a pumpkin farm. So we've been doing this for about 20 years. This is actually our 20th season, and we want people to come in from the community and actually experience hands-on interactions with our animals and then find and pick the perfect pumpkin. And these aren't just any animals you may be used to seeing on a farm. Sure, you have your regulars like bunnies and goats, but they also have alpacas and emu and their newest addition, May the Camel. All love to greet you and eat a tasty treat from you when you visit. They're kind of the inspiration for Lori and her husband Jeff who co-own the wild pumpkin located near Beaverton. At one point I said, we gotta do something. Somehow these animals have to pay for themselves. And he's like, well, why don't we sell a few pumpkins? So it just kind of progressed from there. So one day we were just doing animals and the next we had pumpkins planted and it's just kind of snowballed from there. It did snowball. Each season seems to bring something new to this beloved family destination. They were actually recently voted as one of the top places to visit in the state. But getting it ready for visitors takes work, in fact, just planting all the seeds for the literal thousands of pumpkins takes about four days. We spend a tremendous amount of time um, preparing for the season. I mean, literally once the, the weather breaks in March and April, we're already, you know, planning and getting everything ready. And, you know, Jeff is definitely the idea guy. I, I'm not, I'm the no person, um, but he is the one, he's the one who said we need a, the biggest corn box ever. And I'm like, that's the craziest idea I've ever heard. Oh my gosh, no, it's not. It's right on track, you know? So he's really good at stuff like that. Another huge hit, their donuts. Whipped up from scratch, they've earned a reputation for not just their taste, but their crunchy, sugary, fried goodness. We, uh, we make the traditional apple cider donuts. We also make pumpkin and blueberry, but we have some incredible specialty donuts um, that people rave about. We do pumpkin maple bacon. We do salted caramel apple and cream cheese blueberry and pumpkin donuts. And then for the kids, we also do the fruity tutti blueberries. So we actually have a full service kitchen so you can buy lunch while you're here and um, hang out and just spend some quality time with your family. Spending quality time with your family in the middle of the Met, isn't that what it's all about? When you're out in the community and stuff and everybody feels so grateful that, you know, we're doing something and bringing other people into the community, it, it's a win-win. And you know, families nowadays, they need to spend time together and this is a great place to do it. Peruse the products and stay up to date with all the happenings at the Wild Pumpkin by heading to their website, thewildpumpkin.com.